Hello, good evening, and welcome to Gav's Dams. It's heavy rain outside. You might hear it on the, the plastic kind of roof. On the conservatory, hopefully not, but you might hear it. Hidden Heads Authentic Collection will we'll be getting released next week. I got my pack today. There's eight bottles in it. I'll run through the eight bottles first, then I'll tell you how I'm going to do them. I pulled these two a wee bit earlier. Authentic Collection, single casks. We do not chill filter and we don't really use colouring. We know that for Caden Heads. Bottle one, Glen Allocky, 57%, come in at £50. Bottle two, Tormore, 12 year old, 61.8%, coming in at 55%, both bourbon barrels. Three and four, Bill Ewan, 16 year old, coming in at 75%. Seven, start again. Bill Ewan, 16 year old, 54%, coming in at 75 pound. Four, Gwen Lossie, bourbon again. 16 year old, 49.7%, 80 pound. Five, Ben Rennes, 13 year old, 55.1, 60 pound. It's an Anola Russell cask. Tama Villain, 16 year old, 54%, it's coming in at 80 pound. It's in a Manzanella cask. That'll be interesting. Seven, Springbank 12 year old, 55.5, coming in at £85, and an Oloroso cast. Oloroso cast mature, that's what it says. Number eight, Enigma, Island, in brackets, Orkney, 19 year old, 54.7, £110. That's probably a Highland Park, probably. So, the four bourbons there, and what I'm going to do is the two bourbons in one set. Two bourbons and another set, and then what I'll do is I'll see how I'm feeling, and I'll probably do the Oloroso, the Tama Villain. And there's, there's three, no, I'll do two Olorosos together. That'll be the Spring Bank and the Ben Rennes, and then the, Ma the Tama Villain is in the Manzilla and the Enigma. Um, isn't a fine sherry cask matured? Well, that's what I'll do. So, I pulled these two earlier tonight, and the two are poured. Was going Alaki, nine year old, and the Tormor, twelve year old. 61. One's at 57%. One's at 61.8. They work very similar. Colour wise. The bourbon. So they should be similar. Uh, the Todd Moore had a better bead around it when I poured it than the Granalaki. So, without further ado, let's have a wee look at the legs. And I'm doing them, I'm doing these in these glasses. Because I feel you definitely get a better nose in these glasses. There's no doubt about it. It's a wee bit more difficult to drink. But we're not really sitting, drinking, enjoying it. So we'll take it about that angle. And we'll see what we get. And our legs on it. And... Quite close together, the eyes, the beads, whatever you want to call it, and they're not really moving that fast at all. That's a Glenallachie. Any Glenallachies I've tasted has always been sherry casts. I've never tasted a Glenallachie and a bourbon cask, and it's quite young. So that'll be interesting. Bring it up. Mm -hmm. They're moving a wee bit faster, actually. They're moving quite quick. 
Aye, this fountain moved quite quick. So, Granamaki first. Bring it to the noise. Fresh. Non peated. They're both non peated. Might be saying that. They're both space sides. That's a lovely noise. Fudge. I like that noise, but it's, there's no any noise crack on it at all. I'll bring this one up. This is a tone more, and it's a little bit more stronger. It's sixty-one percent. The noise is completely different, you know. The noise in this sixty-one paint is more subdued. As the noise in that which is a Glenallachie, is coming out and hitting you right away. Oh, bang, you get it there, but there, you're getting it. Fresh. And that's a, a nine-year-old. Mm, interesting. And this one is a 12-year-old. I would say there's more noise trickle in the 12-year-old, which you wouldn't think. You would think you would get it the other way about. But they're definitely nose prickle. Tormor's no drama tasted, which is good. Right, so let's get them a leash go. See what we got this time. Lovely fresh. There's, there's nothing. There's everything you get in a bourbon, and there's but there's no any nose prickle in it. Very fudgy, bit about a bit of toffee. In there. The noise in this seems more subdued. It's more flatter. It's not opening itself up to me. It's there, but it's just no, that noise is definitely better. Okay, so let's have a wee sip of this one. 57% Glenarchy. Really interesting because, as I've said, I've never tasted a Glenarchy, which is just bourbon. It's all, I'm not sure, it's nine year old, I think that might be just before the new takeover. It's a lovely noise, you know, it's really, really nice. Here we go. Mm. Oh, it's a young whiskey. Maybe. You know, it's coming through. There's a, there's a taste coming through it. Flowery taste. And there's a taste coming through that, which is interesting. But it's very spirity, quite kicky, actually. I think the spirit is dominating the cask here, and yet the nose, when I've said different. Right, let's have a look at the Tormor, which is 61%, but it's a 12 year old. Let's see what this is going to give us. Still nothing in the nose, very flat. There we go. Thicker, more toffee, more cask influence. Without a doubt, it's it's stronger, but it's been in the cask another three years longer. I'm not sure about that. Um, personally, mm, I would have think. Can I say maybe they bottled it too quickly? I don't know. Uh, I would like to have seen that develop a wee bit more. Mm, this is right. I 
better taste. Okay, this one, better nose. Then that one, this one, the torn more, is a better taste. There is no doubt about it. Um, they two, I prefer the torn more. I think, for my palate, in my opinion, that's just a little bit young. Just a little bit spirity. Right, we'll put a wee bit of water in it. I'll try and put the same water in the same same as them. That's a fair bit. Let's see what that does to them. You know, we should go and see what happens here. Softens the noise. I hope you can hear that rain. Ah, that's bringing that nose up a wee bit more. It's a wee bit better. The water has changed the nose on that. Here we go. Still warm. Still spirity. But it needs water, in my opinion. This one, which is a stronger. I prefer the Tormor. I definitely prefer the Tormor. I don't know why. It's Maybe it's a wee bit age. I just think that's a little bit of a spirity side. So that's the first two. I'll try and do the other two before the match tomorrow night. And uh, I'll try and do two every night this week if I can. So that's the first two. Cadenheads, Cast Strength, Authentic Collection. Six to go. I'll save these for later on. Thank you for watching Gav's Drums. Um... The weather's ridiculous, you know, it's absolutely, these are, these are summer drums. That one looks a wee bit lighter, a wee bit more in it. So, stay safe, press the bell. If you have not subscribed, please press the sub button. Subs is important. Um, pressing the like button if you like, it's important. And replying to me is important as well. That's the important things. If you wish to buy me a coffee, that's completely up to you. But anyway, thank you for watching Gav's Drums. See you very shortly. Thank you.